When I have a long lens on, I usually take the strap out of the main camera body because the weight is actually on the lens itself. So the strap goes on the lens. As you can see, it balances this way. However, I think I most commonly actually use this piece that can be attached to the long lens. Let's say if you are if you're on a job, you have to run from one location to another. My best grip is usually um, on this L plate. So that is actually how I would hold the lens moving around. So it's also the most stable way of holding it. The monopod comes in really handy. Say if you are shooting a tennis game and you have stationed yourself in one place for the next duration of the entire game, you wouldn't want to be you know, trying to balance the lens using the strength of your arms. And so the monopod comes in really handy. Today, uh, because the wind is fairly strong and I may tend to have a little bit of vibrations, setting it to 1 over 250 is one way. Having a monopod is a second way to stabilize the weight of the lens. A big part of operating a long lens is actually how you can stabilize it against your body or against the the things, the railing, the environment around you. I mean, that, that is a big part of getting the photography right when you are shooting with a heavy lens. So it's not just about, you know, like spotting the frame or skill or competence, but handling a long lens also is about how you can distribute your strength, your muscle energy uh, over a long period of time that you're supposed to shoot. For example, if you are shooting a soccer game, basketball game or anything, uh, you have to think about how you can handle this weight for the and duration of the entire tournament. So I always uh, loosen the screw on the focusing ring. The monopod is attached to the L plate which is attached to the focusing ring. And I always loosen the screw on it so that these two variables can always be moved around. For me, I'm a street shooter so I usually move with my body, right? But because the lens is so it's heavy, I may not be able to get the agility and stability of this movement at the same time. Uh, so then I have to depend on you know my expertise at trying to keep this stable and still moving around. So yeah, it's not about technical skills but a bit of smarts about how you can handle your equipment.